Hi, I'm Sam Sheridan from Sheridan Computers and today we're going to be taking a look at XCPNG and how to install it on bare metal. Um, XCPNG is a virtualization platform. It's based on Zen Server. Um, Zen Server is open source and XCPNG is built on top of that. It's a distribution of that. So we're going to take a look at how to do that. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Um, consider subscribing to the channel and if you hit the notifications icon, you'll get notifications of any new videos as they're released. If you'd like to hire us for any projects, whether it's virtualization or anything IT related, you'll find, uh, if you head across to our website, click on the hire us button, you'll be presented with a form. If you uh, leave your details in the form, submit the form, we'll get back to you with whether we can help you or not. While you're on our website, you'll be able to find some information on um, who we are, what we do, and some of the clients that we serve. So now we've got that out of the way, let's uh, head across and take a look at XCPNG and just what it is. So introducing XCPNG, this is uh, from 29th of December 2017. Uh, would you like all the power of Zen, Zen Server without the limits backed by the community? XCPNG. Um, since Zen Server 7.3 was released, people using the free version were a bit disappointed. Citrix has removed some interesting features. Um, however, Zen Server is open source, it's possible to modify and build on it, hence re removing feature restrictions. Uh, and creating a community about it. So we're going to take a look at how to install this. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to download it. So if we go ahead and go on to XCP on keyboard XC, XCPNG.org, hit download. So we can grab the ISO from here. Um, you can do it from a bootable USB stick if you're going to do that. Uh, we we're going to boot off the ISO and do it that way. So to download the ISO, we'll get it here. Uh, if you're going to do it for your USB stick, you can use Rufus to burn that if you're using Windows. Um, let's go ahead and get the ISO. So we've got the ISO file. So. Um, now I'm going to copy that onto my um, hard drive so I can boot off it. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, I've prepped the hard drive so we should be good now to uh, head across and do it. So let's go ahead and um, boot off our virtual CD-ROM. And then we want to install. Okay, <clears throat> so select your key map, UK in this case. Um, so this is, at this point, if you need to load additional drivers, um, this gives you the opportunity to do that. We don't need to, so uh, we can just continue. So accept the uh, end user license agreement. and select the hard drive to install to. Um, so we're going to install to that one. Which disks would you like to use for your virtual machine storage? Um, so XCPNG doesn't need local storage uh, for storing virtual machines. You can do it from Windows shares, you can do it from NFS shares. Um, but what it does do is allow you to use the local hard drive so you can see we've got like a 500 gig hard drive in this. Um, the actual XCPNG install takes very little space. So this allows you to um, use the internal drive for local storage as well, which we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, select your installation media to local. Skip verification. You should verify your media if you've not used it previously. Let's go ahead and put a password in. Nah, six characters or longer. Um, so at this point we can um, go ahead and configure the networking. So we're going to um, leave it on DHCP. 
Um, obviously, if you want to uh, set a static IP address, you can do that at this point. Uh, and you can assign a VLAN if you need to. Uh, host configuration. Um, MaxCP, NG, YouTube. And DNS servers, we'll let them pick up from DHCP. Go ahead and set your time zone. Come on, London. Uh, using NTP, that's fine. I'm going to specify my NTP service here. So uh, we've collected all the information required, please confirm you want to install. Yep, let's go ahead and install. Okay, so that bit's complete, so um, would you like to install any supplemental packs? Nope. Just go ahead and complete the installation. Um, okay, so installation complete. Remove any local media from the drive and then press enter to reboot. Let's go ahead and do that. And that is it, that is a basic installation of XCPNG, there's really um, not much to do. Um, as you can see we've got status display and we can see um, we've got an IP address, network management interface, um, authentication, virtual machines, none in this case, disks and um, storage repositories. Resource build configuration, see hardware BIOS information. So as you can see this is a Dell system. A keyboard and time zone, remote service configuration, backup, restore, update, technical support, reboot or shutdown. They can drop to a local command shell. Um, so you can administer it from here as well by dropping to uh, the command prompt and using the uh, CLI. That's really not much fun, especially when you've got to copy and paste your UIDs and stuff. Um, so for administering it, I suggest you use um, XCPNG Center, which runs on Windows. Um, alternatively, you can use Zen Orchestra. Zen Orchestra is worth uh, installing anyway. I'm not actually going to go into Zen Orchestra in this video. I'll do a separate video on how to install Zen Orchestra. It basically sits in a virtual machine. Um, and it provides a lot of features as well. If you're building it from source, you can you know you can do your backups and everything from that. Um, so if we go ahead and take a look at um, XCPNG Center. So this is XCPNG Center, and it makes administra administrating your systems a lot easier. So we can go ahead and um, add a new server. So what was the IP address of ours? 10.1.10.100 So let's go ahead and add the server in Username's root and whatever password we set And as you can see we are now connected to um, our system uh, So we can see the name of the host um, Default install of XCPNG, you can see the uptime, management interfaces, memory. So this Dell system's only got four gig of RAM in it, but it was good enough for uh, demonstrating today's purposes. You can see the version details, license, and number of CPUs. 
So this is an I-5. Um, you see how much memory is in use. Storage, and we can connect storage repositories to install virtual machines from here. You can see the networking. Um, physical NICs that we've got in the machine. GPU. Not available on this host. USB if we want to connect to any USB devices. We can pull the console up and log directly into that. So this is the uh, console on our XCP and G host. And if we do X console, again we can pull that up. Performance, users. Um, so in order to create a virtual machine, um, we need to attach some kind of some way of installing it. This particular machine doesn't have a. You know, we can use local storage. Um, removable storage, so we can install virtual machines via removable storage. Um, or we can add a storage repository. So if we do add new storage repository, and I want uh, an ISO library. Let's have a do Windows library. SMB ISL library. Share name. Give it a pass. Uh, credentials if necessary to connect. So now we have our um, ISO library connected. And we can see all the uh, ISOs that I have on, that I have on there. You can also search for if you want to. Um, so at that stage, we've got our storage repository, we've got a list of ISOs, and we're pretty much good to go and um, do an install of something. So let's get our first uh, virtual machine up and running. So let's go ahead and do new virtual machine. Uh, I'm going to do, we'll do CentOS for this one, it's fine, place the VM on this server, so if you've got multiple servers, um, XCPNG Center can connect to more than one um, hypervisor, I'm going to give it Two CPUs, one core for the socket, the number of initial CPUs, two memory. I'm going to set that to one gig because this machine really doesn't have a lot. Um, use these virtual hard disks so you can create extra disks, so that'll do us for this time. Network interfaces gives you the summary of what we're going to create. Let's go ahead and create. Now, I'm not going to start it automatically. You can see the status down here, creating disks. And now we have our virtual machine, CentOS. So we can go ahead and start that. We take a look at console. So let's go ahead and install it. Um, okay, so our install is complete, so we can now go ahead and reboot that. So now our CentOS machine is running. Um, um, so we've got CentOS installed. Um, do we have internet activity? Oh. So there's um, full internet access, so we can go ahead now and uh, update the system. So we can now put in as the uh, user that we created earlier. And obviously now that we've got putty, we've um, no need to 
Use the console because it's limited. So we're fully installed. Like I say, um, I'd manage um, XCPNG via the uh, XCPNG system center if I was you. If you're not sure what that is. So if we head over here and we go to XCPNG um, and we want the Zen admin. And this is the system center which you can download from GitHub. Um, there's also a um, Zen Orchestra. And Zen Orchestra is a web interface for uh, XCPNG. So if you don't need to use Windows to uh, administer or anything like that, you can do it straight from Zen Orchestra installed in a virtual machine. So we go back on here and search for XCPNG. Um, there's a script that will allow you to install Zen Orchestra with a lot, no hassle. So that's about it for this video. Um, that should be enough to get you to install XCPNG and create your first virtual machine. And the process is similar to just to keep adding machines to it. You can um, obviously just go through the install process again on another machine or two and then basically just add it into um, the XCP system center as we did with the first one. And you can control them all and create virtual machines from there. And you can create pools of machines, etc. Um, as I say, that's it for this video. If you made it this far, thank you, and please take the time to hit the like button, and as I said at the beginning, please um, subscribe to the channel, and if you hit the notification icons, you will get notifications of any new videos that we do. If you would like to hire us for any projects, please um, head over to our website at sheridan.co.uk and press on the hire us button.